With a narcissist sense of entitlement, they believe they are special. Therefore, they'll not accept any responsibility for their own behaviour. They don't think that rules apply to them. However, they believe they apply to you. Consequently, they're always looking for someone else to blame for their behaviour. Or whatever in their life isn't going their way, rarely to never admitting fault for the drama or pain they cause those around them. As many narcissists lack self-awareness, no matter how much we try to help or explain to them, they'll not accept responsibility. They'll just find someone else to blame. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for your continued support. This video is going to be about the narcissist and their blame shifting. If you are new to the channel, this channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to help give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to help find what works for you to overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. So how do narcissistic people blame shift? Projection, the narcissist defense mechanism, taking their unwanted traits, behaviors or emotions and passing them on to someone else. Baiting, setting the environment to cause people to react so the narcissist can blame people for their reactions to escape responsibility for the things they do to people. Gaslighting, distorting someone's reality into losing their own sanity. So you doubt who you are or what you've done and give the benefit of the doubt to the very person that's causing you those doubts. Triangulation, finding a third party to blame where the narcissist will use others to get you to give in to the narcissist demands or isolate you from any support network through making up lies and informing one of something another has said to divide and conquer to dominate all others they create competition between others they will even play their own children off against each other finding a scapegoat the narcissist will usually find a person who is strong-willed, who the narcissist struggles to control, so shames and blames the scapegoat for everything. Manipulation, the action of unscrupulously controlling others for their own advantage unfairly and dishonestly. Blame shifting is where the narcissist switches their crazy making onto the innocent target. When anyone confronts them or tries to set boundaries with them, the narcissist will change the whole focus onto the other person so that the narcissist can escape accountability and not take any form of responsibility for their actions, putting all the attention and all the blame onto the innocent party. Narcissists do this with ease as they lack the empathy to care. They believe they are always right and are oblivious to their behaviour and how their behaviour affects those around them. Only how people's reactions might affect the narcissist. They refuse to listen to others, refuse to admit fault and to the narcissist any pain you are in is your doing. Any pain the narcissist is in will also be your doing. They'll make others feel guilty by blaming those around them so that the narcissist can remain in control. They'll exploit people's feelings to punish people, to bring out the worst in people and to take advantage of people for their own gain. When a narcissist feels threatened, shamed, rejection, embarrassment, exposure, disrespect, neglect, humiliation, real or perceived as they don't see themselves as the problem, if they embarrass themselves, then they have to abuse others by physical, financial, psychological, emotional, spiritual or sexual abuse. Then they gaslight those they abuse into blaming themselves. At the same time, the narcissist plays the victim to feel better about themselves. The more we chase them, the more we try to help them, the more we work harder to please them, the more they believe it's our fault. If we walk away, they believe it's our fault. There is no way to help a narcissist as they are unwilling 
to help themselves. The only thing we can do is allow ourselves to walk away. The most common phrases a narcissist will use to blame shift. One, it's all your fault. No, it's not your fault. Whatever they've been caught out on, whatever proof you have, they will always twist it straight back onto you. Stay in your reality, recognising they're not going to give you the truth. They'll just lie, deny and blame someone else. Two, what do you want me to do about it? They're blaming no one, but to them, they're not responsible. So you are the one who needs to sort any issues out. Do what you can to help you and leave them to it. Three, deal with it. They believe they are entitled to do as they please and it's up to you to just get on with it. All you can do is do the things you can do to help you and leave them to deal with their own problems. You cannot help people who are unable or unwilling to help themselves. Some great people will help you and will appreciate your help from you. Any relationship in life is about give and take. It's helping each other through life's drama. Those who continue to put you in drama, leave them to be who they want to be and go and be who you need to be. Four, you're overreacting. Actually, no, most often with a narcissist, you are far from overreacting. Most often they've downplayed their behavior, so we are underreacting. They, again, just want to shift the attention off their actions onto your reactions. If that's how you feel about something, it's how you feel about something. If people are not willing to listen or support you as you would them, those are not the ones for you. Five, that didn't happen. Most likely with a narcissist, it did happen. They just enjoy rewriting history and watching you doubt yourself more and drive yourself crazy trying to prove yourself to them. To them, it might not have happened. Why they say it with such truth-telling lies. Deep down, your instincts know it did happen, yet with all their gaslighting, we often end up questioning ourselves. Keeping diaries on key things is always a wise idea if you cannot go no contact with a narcissist. Six, that wasn't my fault. It most likely was their fault, but remember they cannot be held accountable and they will not be held responsible for things that they do wrong. They don't want the consequences for their very own actions. You are not responsible for their actions. What they do is down to them. You are only ever responsible for your own actions. If a narcissist says, that's just who I am, believe them. That is who they are. That is their choice. They have no willingness to recognise that that is who they are, recognise that it's a little bit on the negative side and change their behaviour. They want you to accept that's who they are. So accept that's who they are and walk away. Seven, if you hadn't, then I wouldn't. They probably got you so down so that you reacted and then they blamed you again all to mess with your mind know the full story of their actions and yours eight why do you have to spoil everything most often you didn't actually cause any sort of issue they're just projecting they probably did something to get a reaction from you narcissists are rather negative people and spread that negativity around they are also extremely envious of other people and believe others are envious of them so if something isn't about them they will find a way to make it about them all you can do in this situation is know your own truth and leave them to theirs when a narcissist is accusing you of spoiling things it's often because the narcissist themselves wants to spoil things nine why do you have to make everything so difficult That's usually when you've worked out what they are. You're no longer reacting and just responding to them. So they're struggling to break down your boundaries. Keep your boundaries, keep your standards high and keep your expectations of their understanding low. 
10, that's just like you. When you've found your boundaries and you're sticking to them, this is great. You know your worth, you know your truth, you know your values, you know your beliefs and a narcissist is just struggling to take them down. So they're going to try and get you to question your boundaries so that a narcissist can have their own way. 11, you're selfish. Again, this is usually when you've got your boundaries up and you're not being selfish. Stick to your boundaries. Stick to being true to who you are. The only people who don't like your boundaries are those who benefited from you having none. 12, you need help. You need a mental evaluation. No, you just need help to get away from the narcissist, heal and recover. How to handle narcissists is so easy to react and want to defend ourselves, defend our reality, defend our feelings, defend our truths. It's incredibly easy to overlook their toxic behaviour, make excuses for their toxic behaviour, especially when we are the ones left saying they're not that bad, it doesn't happen that often, it was my fault because they are my parents, it's my best friend, I grew up with them, who would employ me? What about the children? And these are often limiting beliefs that keep us locked in a relationship we shouldn't be in. These are also lies the narcissist can feed us. And when we have to say it doesn't happen often, it shouldn't happen at all. We have to remember they have a disorder. The more we react, the more we give them attention. The more we give in to their demands, the more control they have over our minds and the more it reinforces to the narcissist that they are superior, they are entitled to treat us how they want and they are in control. They are not in control. We have control of our emotions and our mind controls our emotions. We have control of our minds. We have to take that control back. Their manipulative gaslighting behaviour, their coercive controlling treatment towards us often leaves us more susceptible to narcissistic abuse. We have to understand the games they play and we have to learn to walk away. We can retreat, we can rethink and become more mindful of seeing their games for what they are and then only responding to them if we absolutely need to do so. Do not take what they say or do personally. Their opinion of you, they're not for you. Their, their opinions are to try and exploit you in some way. I shall add in the description the other video I did on blame shifting to explain more and the video on how to outsmart a narcissist. Remember, you are worth so much more. If you can hold yourself accountable to not only your behaviour, but you also hold yourself accountable to someone else's behaviour, you have understanding, you have wisdom, you can learn, you can develop, you can grow. You cannot help those who are unable to recognise the issues within their own behaviour. When it comes to getting out of a toxic relationship, many survivors blame themselves and they are not to blame for someone else's behaviour. We can recognise our own and we can adapt our own to find a better life for ourselves. We cannot help someone recognise their own behaviour. That is on them. I am currently full for one-to-one -one coaching. I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is in the description. There is also the online courses which are available, which is just a step-by-step -step guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic abuse. Thank you very much for listening. If anyone has a blame shifting phrase that they know, sis, please add that into the comments to help others become more aware Thank you very much for listening and go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.